As you move towards the implementation of a one-to-one -one program in your school, you're no doubt asking yourself, what are going to be the implications on Teach for Teaching and Learning? What are going to be the implications on how young people learn when they have ubiquitous access to technology? We thought it, we should probably go around the world and look at some of the sites in schools around the world that have implemented one-to-one -one and talk with some leading teachers in those schools and school leaders about the experiences they've had. You probably want to know what else is going on in other parts of the world. Wouldn't it be great if all our students are passionately engaged in what they're learning? If they were driven to learn out of a personal desire to know rather than to pass an exam? if they get what they need to learn and go over and above. One-to-one -one learning makes that possible. If you want to go further, read that interview. If you want to go further, watch this video. So it definitely provides each student with the ability to kind of take that topic and go as deep into it as they want to. But I think what crystallized in my mind, like the light bulb, was that these kids today have access to the same information that professionals do. So they should be doing the same things that scholars are doing with that information. Deeper engagement leads students to take ownership of their learning. They take charge, often in very creative ways. I know my entire government class, we're all political junkies now, because she encouraged us to like do things our own way and figure out what our perspective was. And as they become stronger critical thinkers, they become more effective problem solvers. And then they begin to take risks. And in those risks lies innovation. Engagement and self-directed learning can only happen if students have a meaningful voice. It's too easy to kind of think that having a student council and elected student representative in a school is student voice. I think we have to look beyond that and look at meaningful student engagement as, as really meaning that students have a, a role to play in deciding what they'll learn and how they'll learn it. Uh, when people ask me what has been one of the biggest effects of technology in education, without a doubt is that it, it has raised the voice of, of, of the students within their own learning. Uh, and that's brought about a huge change. And so we continue to favor that and, and promote this type of thing. And that's something that I actively promote uh, people to do. And that is, is allow students to be involved and engaged in the design of their own learning and in also in the presentations of the work that they do. Because that element of, of, of pride, you know, ha, has a great effect, you know, on, on children in terms of how they see things and how they respond to the learning environment around them. Learners now have a huge range of choices in how they express themselves and share their ideas and knowledge. A blog, an animation, or video. In short, they're content creators. That's a powerful tool, one that can level the playing field. I'm talking about sort of average to struggling students really love that sense of I'm in control of this, what can I do with it? And exploring the, the possibilities usually leads them to creating work of a really high standard and achieving a level of understanding that you couldn't have outlined and explained to them at the outset. One-to-one -one learning, engagement, self-direction, creativity and voice, they add up to deeper learning and the drive to be lifelong learners for the 21st century. And they like it. They like being in charge of the conversation. It's also helped me really take charge of my education because I have so many resources at my fingertips. What's changed is, is really that ability to create a class as a community of scholars um, that to me is really important. 